So we're at the venue. We're sitting in a brownout. Uh, backup generator is on the way, but it's really deflating to try and do a charity initiative and not be able to and lose spectators and all that stuff due to not having any power. It's really depressing right now. And all I'm trying to do is give back to a community and help the community, but there's like no power. It's just so unfortunate. Dreams, visions, reality. Turning our dreams into visions and visions into reality is easier said than done. I've always wanted to do more, give more, and help my community more. I strive to keep those dreams alive and show others that no matter the situation, goals are always achievable. This is my journey of turning visions into reality through the Dare to Dream Foundation. For the past two years, I've helped over 2,000 underprivileged students by supplying them with all their school supplies for the entire year. This effort alleviates financial burdens on families who would otherwise have to choose between food, bills, and school supplies. Enter the Dare to Dream Foundation. When we stop dreaming, hoping, and setting goals, we essentially give up. The Dare to Dream Foundation is more than just giving back and I learned that very early on in this endeavor. This scholarship program was about awarding students who show exceptional promise despite facing hard times, numerous obstacles, and making countless sacrifices. All three students who were selected persevered and graduated elementary school while almost making the honor roll. I created this event to present them with the award of a scholarship to a private high school education, something none of the three students selected would be able to afford or would qualify for through the different government assistance programs. This almost guarantees an even steeper up here battle for their success. By creating this event, I realized that it was more than just a scholarship and helping three students. It was about the community. It was about showing a community that rarely sees rays of sunshine that hope, dreams, and opportunities can come true. It was about hope within the community. As I watched fellow students, friends, aunts, uncles, parents, grandparents, and community elders all celebrate together like they were the recipients and they were the ones with these awards. I watched in real time as it reignited the fires inside them that had gone out years ago and keep the fires of life and burning in the next generation of children. Without the help of my amazing community, this program or charity wouldn't even have got off the ground. The success I have achieved from music and through the digital spaces keep my fires burning and gives me the strength to persevere on those painful, hard days. To the angels, I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for all the love and support. I appreciate all of you greatly. Thank you all for the help and everything from the support and in the initiatives, the growth of my channel, and your undying support for Angelina Jordan. All of you have played a pivotal role in my growth, my channel's growth, and have helped to change and impact so many lives through these initiatives. And now, via the Dare to Dream Foundation. Mr. Joey Farr, my friend, you are a real hero. Many reach out to me daily and ask what is needed or how they can help um, with the different initiatives that are in place here, but nothing really ever materializes. But you, my friend, not only reached out to me, but you asked me what it would take to sponsor a child and without hesitation, literally changed the course of this little girl's life forever. You, my friend, are a true angel and have a friend for life and a second home in the Philippines. To Tamoyan Elementary School, Jenny Kong, Albai Tattoo's Best, and the municipality of Tamoyan, I look forward to working with you all again. Sincerely, your friend, Shakespeare, and the Dare to Dream Foundation.